I'm neither young nor normal, so. There's no such thing as normal. Welcome to week 31 and 32. Eight weeks. Eight weeks to go. How scared are you? On a scale of what? One to ten? One to ten. Um, factoring all the times I've already broken down and cried to you, I'm at a solid 15. All right. Freaking out. How are you? I'm great. You're not scared at all? I'm not scared at all. Like not nervous at all? No. Like, can you please be nervous so I can feel okay? <laughs> okay, I'm a little nervous. Okay, good. Just slightly. Are you? Good. It's all in God's hands. Oh, gosh. Just a lot. A lot. A lot. We have so much to do and only eight weeks to do it. Plus, you know, I don't, I don't even know. It could be six weeks. You could decide, hey, 36 right. weeks is a great time for me to come out. All right, so yeah, with 30, 31, 32 weeks, we uh, bypassed uh, week 31 when he was about 3.9 pounds. Yeah, and the size of his zucchini. 16 and a half inches. And now he is 4.3 pounds <laughs> and 16.9 inches. Again, these are all rough. We'll actually find Based out. Based on averages. On averages, sure. right. But we get to find out tomorrow the exact. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going for a screening tomorrow. Yeah. So we'll know exactly how much he weighs, his size, his height, what right. percentile he's in, whatever that means. But we just went to the doctor this past week. Uh, it's fucked. <laughs> Almost week 32. Tomorrow, Christmas Eve. And where are we? we went, oh, the doctor. For what? 32 week checkup or third trimester checkup or whatever it is. You look great. <sighs> Thanks. I'm tired and I'm carrying a lot of weight right now. Just all right here. It's just a lot of weight. Imagine a 20 pound bowling ball just strapped on you. It's only going to get heavier. <laughs> <laughs> that's where the panic started oh because she gave you a sheet yeah detailing basically <laughs> everything you need to start, start doing, doing to prepare my body for delivery right so when you look at it it's starting 32 weeks i have to start drinking this red raspberry leaf tea yeah. Then starting at third, magic potion. Then at third, what's the deal with red raspberry leaf tea? I don't know. It's supposed to help with preparing your body for contractions. Okay. I don't know. And then I'm supposed to eat six dates a day, yep. and that's supposed to help with a faster delivery, something like that. And then faster bowel movements too. Probably. So, right. And then. Also, Dates, prunes, prune juice. Then it was like primrose oil capsules that have to be inserted in. Inserted where? Unmentionable places where the baby's going to come out. And that's to help with, I don't know, it's supposed to all help with contractions, delivery, faster delivery. So it's, a, it's like oil. It's like an oil capsule. Capsule. And you do this once a day? Once a day. Okay. So prepare yourself as you're assuming we have a number of people are watching that are going through the same thing. And uh, so it's, it's normal for you to feel nervous on a scale of uh, 1 to 10 to 15. So I hope so. I think you feel nervous. You're like first time mom. Right. Like labor pains ah. <laughs> okay all right so i had i was gone for a week a week and that was tough I wasn't able to see you but i wasn't able to talk to bryson but i did do the recordings and then i did 
send some voice text. Yeah, we did FaceTime a little bit, which was nice. Right. And unfortunately, on my trip, I got sick. <laughs> and so that was, that was tough. But um, I also got back and I was like, I don't know that I should see you right away. Like, I, I think probably not contagious still. But anyway, I, um, I thought it was best for you to stay away, stay away a few more days because you were already staying with your mom most of the time. Anyhow, while I was gone. So I was like, oh, just stay down there a few more days. Better safe than sorry. Right. So almost two weeks without seeing you, without Bryson talking to yeah. you. And it was, I don't know. I felt like he felt it. Maybe I'm crazy. I don't well, know. That's another question. <laughs> There's no debate there. Funny man. But truly, whenever your voice would come on, yeah, he kicks more. Like so, proven theory. He does like your voice, and he was so, oh, really quiet a few days. I was very nervous. Again, very nervous. He wasn't like super active, and then like he heard your voice. And, yeah. He was happy so, again. He said everything's good. Yeah, everything is gravy. I mean, I did panic to the point that we did order a Doppler heart monitor. <laughs> Probably you shouldn't do if you're a warrior like me. Yeah, you're worried about everything, especially don't use it like, by yourself. like don't use it by yourself because you're like, okay, if you can't find the heartbeat, it's probably just because he's turned around or something. Or... Yeah, but I did get it and I did try it out once. And yeah. it was cool. I got to do it at home and hear his heartbeat. Right. But again, impulse purchase because I was so nervous that he wasn't moving enough. It happens. It happens. So it's normal to be crazy nervous at this. And, I, and it only kind of gets, gets worse. It'd be interesting to see. Once he's. How week 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, we'll 38, 39. Stop counting. My God. Oh, yeah, yeah. But anyways, we also had a lot of stuff going on besides you traveling. We had Christmas. Right. And we're going to be traveling again. A little short travel for New Year's. Mm -hmm. What if he decides to, to, to make his appearance while we're traveling? He could be born in a different state. I think after tomorrow, we'll, we'll, we'll know. It's, we'll know if it's safe to travel all of a sudden they gonna uh, be like because of... you're dilated maybe you should not travel yeah i don't gosh no that's not gonna happen all right so the doctor tomorrow is gonna be more the imaging yes so what is that talk about about that it's just i think it's the 3d or 4d image that you do um but it's well he was it's not like he does regular imaging, but then you you pay more if you, you pay want to more get if you 3D. want the yeah. But it's similar to the anatomy test in that he's gonna be measuring everything. So this is the specialist we're gonna go see. We saw the OB that's gonna be delivering yeah. last week. So he doesn't do the delivery. He's only doing the specialty stuff because why? I'm geriatric still. Nothing has changed. Right, but you would. I mean. People still go see this doctor even if you're not geriatric, right? Typically, no. Okay. No, unless, you know, or you have a high-risk pregnancy or something like that. But if you're young, normal pregnancy, you should just see your... Young, normal. I'm neither young nor normal, so... There's no such thing as normal. So, yeah. You're feeling anxious, but your feelings and your body and everything else right now, is it, is it getting... Like the pains and everything, is it worse every week or is it about the same? I feel like I'm getting used to certain things, like the pain I used to have here. I'm kind of used to it by now, but now it's just like severe itchy because this bump has grown tremendously. Would you agree? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I've definitely gained, I would say, roughly 20 pounds at this point. Um, and so it's just been... I think the symptoms are, I'm just extra tired, um, fatigue easily. I pee at least 30 times a day. How many times did I pee today? A lot. 
And but you did make the comment earlier that you felt like he was reaching up out of the placenta and grabbing your intestines. Yeah, because get this like grabby feeling <laughs> here. Now something that did happen while you were away was I did pee myself for the first time. <laughs> okay. Well, well hey, you... I think people should know this is what happens to your body. The baby sits on your bladder. You sneeze, you pee yourself. I'm just putting it out there. So if you need a pee, go pee. Do not hold your pee in because if you cough or sneeze, you will pee yourself. All right. And it's okay. And it's okay. And it's okay to pee yourself. That's a great way to wrap up week 31 and 32. Until next time. Until week 33. Go to the bathroom. And we'll see you in week 33. <laughs> Bye. Bye.